everybody, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching today. So I'm going to show you how to make this mini lift and reveal box. So I've already done the large and I've done the medium and then I'm going to call this one the mini. It's really cute. So you just lift the, the lid there or the little flap and then when you open it, it will reveal your gift. And this will very nicely hold a Tanix tea cake. The ribbon's there to hold your gift in place. Check out the medium size one. You'll see I'll pop two lip glosses in that one just to show you. Or if I was popping the tannics in here, I'd add a glue dot onto the bottom and then fix that in there because it needs to stay within that space. You can see it goes in there, but if it's not fixed yet, yeah, no, it'll still come up okay. But you do need to make sure that you fix it in place. So if it moves too far down, it will kind of lock. So you always must make sure whatever you have, you either fix it with a glue dot or you tie it around the ribbon, which you can see I've fed through there. Really easy to make, so let me show you how. So I'm using the lovely Oh So Sweet paper pad. This is by Fest Edition. I've used this in a few tutorials now. Some of them have been cards and uh, I think gift box or gift bag. Again, just check out my older tutorials if you wanna see that. So first of all, you will need to cut yourself two pieces of cardstock. So this is for the main box. So this is 10 and a half by eight and a half so along the ten and a half side you're going to score at two and a half five seven and a half and ten and then rotate it so this half inch piece is at the top and then you're going to score at one three and a half and six okay so that's what you need to do for the main box and then this is for the reveal section so this is four and three quarters by seven and one eighth Along the seven and one eighth side, you want to score at two and three eighths and four and three quarters. And then along the four and three quarter side, you're going to score. At... OK, and then you want to cut yourself. The patterns that you use and how you have them obviously is up to you. But in total, you're going to want six pieces of two and a quarter squared. So I'm going to have these four here along the outside of the box. This is gonna go on the top with my flower. It's actually the reverse side of this because it's a pearlized cardstock. I just thought the plain pearlized looked really nice. And then to get that effect, I just scored it at every one eighth of an inch one way and then rotated and scored again the other. And then this one, which looks wonky, <laughs> which I'll have to cut again, that's gonna go inside. And then I fussy cut this You Are Lovely little tag from one of the papers in that pad. I've also got some ribbon, and then I've got this little piece here, which is for the little flap at the front, and that's two and a quarter by three quarters of an inch. So that's everything that you need. So first of all, you wanna fold and burnish all of your score lines. Next, you wanna make sure you've got your one inch section at the top, your half inch section on the right hand side. You're gonna remove all of this part here. I'm just going to do this so it's easy. I'm going to cut it all out and show you as well, but I just think it's easier this way. And then you're also going to remove this bit here and this bit here. So we're just keeping this. This is all of the base. These are the four sides. This is going to be our tab. And this is the top with the little flap, which is this piece here, which is that up the top there. So first of all, I'm going to turn it around this way so you can see it much better. And you've got your half inch piece and your one inch piece on the bottom. And you're going to cut up this second one and you're going to cut to the second score line. So pass this one up to that one. Like so. And then I'm just going to fold that under, grab my longer scissors, and then I'm going to cut all the way along. Again, if I just lay that down now. Again, your half inch tab, your one inch tabs at the top. And you can see all of that section that I've removed. Next, I'm going to cut up this one here. And then I'm just gonna take a little wedge off like so. And then this one, I'm just gonna cut in slightly on an angle and then come down and just remove all of that. I'm actually taking away the score line on this piece. So then you've got something like this. Make sure that little tab's on your right hand side. You're then going to cut up all of these score lines just to the first score line. Next, the second one in, just fold away from you. That's going to be the last one you stick down. So these three here, just take 
a little wedge off of each corner so that they all fold in. And by doing this, it just keeps the bottom of the box nice and tidy. Okay, so that's now the shape you should have. Next, we're going to add some glue on this little tab here. And then I'm going to turn it over, bring this square, or this whole piece over, and then just bring that one over and you'll see it will all line up. Just make sure that's all secure. Okay, so now you can already see we're getting our box and the join is now at the back. You can see in there, so this is going to come over on the front. So it just means all of this looks nice. That's the square, the solid square that you didn't cut into. So just fold that away and then you want to start sticking these down. So I always like to fold the back one down first. I'm going to use my stronger glue now for the base. Just cover that, stick one side in. Stick the other one over and then I'm going to add the glue now onto this one and then just close that and you'll see it conceals everything you just get a much neater base to your box flip it over grab something that you can pop inside and just spread all that glue out okay so that is now the box so far next you want to go to this piece which is your reveal part and along the short side, you want to cut straight down to the first score line, like so. Then rotate and do the same at the opposite end. Okay. And then it doesn't matter which one you put over which. But before you do that, one of these needs to be your base. So I'm going to go for this one here. And I'm just going to pop two pencil marks kind of in the middle. And then, you know, wherever you want them to go, really. And then with my hole punch, if that one doesn't fit, I use the big bite. I'm just going to punch through those. Like so. And you want to get your ribbon through now as well. It's much easier to do it while it's all flat. Now I forgot, you actually want to stick your piece of pattern paper down. But this is going to be two and one eighth by two and one eighth the piece in here because the squares are slightly smaller. So I'm just going to stick that over the top and then just repunch the holes. What I would suggest if you are making this and you don't know what you're going to pop in there yet is just keep your ribbon quite long just so that you know you're going to have enough to go around your gift. So I'm just going to do quite a big bow there and that way I know I've got enough. Okay. And then you're going to add glue to the back here. It actually doesn't really matter which one you stick down, whether that one goes over or this one, it really doesn't matter. You want to fold it over like so. So you start to get the corner there. So then I'll do the same on this one, just so it looks neat. Okay, so you've got something shaped like this. Just give that a minute to dry. Now, how you cut the sides of this is up to you. You can see here, I've actually cut a curved shape. But if you would rather just cut straight across from that corner to that corner, you can do. But again, I'm going to add a little curve into mine, make sure I don't cut my ribbon. So I just start from the corner, kind of just eyeball something like that. And again... like so okay next you're going to attach this to the box so just make sure the ribbon piece is at the bottom so i'm going to add my glue all over the back here and just sit that and because it's just slightly smaller it will fit perfectly behind that lid and just test it you'll see there now mine's catching so i need to do my curve shape not so big so I'm just going to bring that in a bit more if you've just gone straight across then you won't have that problem okay. 
I'll just try that one. There we go, that fits perfectly. So, can okay, just give that a minute to dry. Okay, and then next I'm going to stick my pattern paper on all four sides here. And then this goes on the top along with the flower. And this sentiment goes in the back just here. So that's everything stuck down. Looks really sweet. And then I'm just going to add a couple of Velcro dots. I'll just grab my two little pairs there. You could do one larger one if you want, but I'm going to pop a pair there and a pair just there. And then just let them kind of grab. And then I like to carefully Rise them apart, making sure they stick to both sides, like so. So make sure that that's dry. There we go. But then you can just really push down on those Velcro dots. And now it closes up perfectly. So there's my very cute mini lift and reveal boxes. I think they make adorable party favours. I think they would look lovely as maybe like a bridal shower as well because they're not too, they don't take too long to make. So you could definitely batch make these um, in no time really. I think they're adorable and they're going to work for so many occasions. Definitely be using these for Christmas and the medium sized one was a Christmas um decorated version anyway so check out the playlist because i'll show you how i've decorated the tops differently and like i said there's the large medium and now the mini so thank you for watching as always i will link the product in the description box below i'll have the other ones popping up now as well and if you've enjoyed today and you haven't subscribed to my channel if you just click on the subscribe button and then hit the notification bell next to it you'll be notified every time i upload a new video thanks for watching i'll see you soon